Yo, what is up? My name is Tane and welcome to another video. I've been so excited, I've been waiting for this to land for some time now. The Moog Subsequent 25. Wow, what an honor it is to, to play with this thing. This thing is rad. This thing's too heavy for me to lift up, so I'm not gonna do that. So a little bit on the Moog Subsequent 25. This is not a smaller version of the subsequent 37. In fact, this is the next iteration of the Sub Fatty. It looks just like a Sub Fatty, but with the colorway of the Sub 37. So rather than the silver plate, it's got the black plate. That classic Moog shape, angled front, beveled back. This thing is so sexy. So sexy. <sighs> So as it is the next iteration of the Sub Fatty, it is still limited by uh, a few things. It's only got four banks of four presets, so 16 presets in total. It's knob per function, I think there might be more under the hood if you were to connect it up to your computer. Uh, but one of the main differences of this compared to the Sub Fatty is you can go paraphonic. You can play the two oscillators separately. It is still going through the, the same filter and amp uh, circuits, which means that it's paraphonic rather than polyphonic. The filter circuit has been redone, so it's got more headroom. The multi-drive has been redone, so you can get a bit more grit and girth out of it. Uh, it's just been updated, so the sound is a bit, the sound is a bit fresh. Once again, I'm not gonna compare this to the original Sub Fatty. I don't know much more than what I've already discussed, but hey, we're here to just check it out, play with it, have some fun, and um, ultimately, make a beat. So, without further ado, let's jump into the beat. <gasps> I am going to start with drums. Drums first, baby. Now let's check out the sounds of the subsequent 25. Let's go through some patches, check it out. Interesting. Thank you. 
Ooh. Start off the bat, son. Build some sort of effects like zaps and pew pew. See what happens. I really feel like playing just the filter and see if we can. So there you have it. That is the sounds of the new Moog subsequent 25. This shit, oh, <laughs> dope, buttery, so good, gnarly, yeah, oh, love it. Man, I had way too much fun playing with that thing. I could just keep going, but alas, I must leave. Cool, so what did I really like about this thing? Man, the filter, the Moog filter is like, it's the best is by far the best. The overdrive, the fact that you can drive this thing, get some grit and some girth. At the same time, it doesn't completely destroy or break up the sound. The multi-drive just kind of adds these juicy harmonics that make it sound just 
Mmm, so good. The resonance on that filter as well is just super pleasing, like playing the filter alone, giving a little bit of drive, just really, really cool. Get some really nice zaps and flippy flaps and blippity bloops. Loads of fun. I, I don't know how to do the paraphonic thing without having to hook it up to a computer. But regardless, it was still loads of fun to play with. The variable waveforms are just so cool as well. The fact that you can sweep through from from a from a triangle wave all the way through to a pulse width wave was is is really quite interesting. I just love that it's simple. Uh, there's not much you can't really overthink it. You just kind of grab and go. Very easy to follow layout on the Subsecom 25. It's absolutely beautiful. It looks gorgeous. It sounds so good. And because of its simple layout and the fact that there's not too many bells and whistles, you can't get lost in changing this or modulating that. There's not too much to play with, but it does do its thing very good. Bass sounds, mwah. If you're looking for a synth to fill in your bass lines or your leads, this thing is definitely worth looking into. Nothing beats a Moog bass. That's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I did making it. As always, please go share this around, share it to your grandma. Oh, and if you do like the sounds that were made in this video, I am gonna start sample these, put them into a little sample pack. You can get them below for free. So the question for you is, what is your favorite bass synth? Leave your answer in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share it with grandma. And I will see you in the next video. Pfft. <sighs>